All right, so uh, time for a little update on my training. Um, bad news today, bad news today. I'm sick and uh, I've been sick for a few weeks. I'll get into that, but today I'd like to talk about sort of dealing with that situation and how I'm going to make the most of it. Maybe something good will actually come out of it because when we're injured, when we're sick, uh, it sucks, obviously. And um, but instead of just being like, oh, there's, you know, I'm sick or I'm injured, everything is going to hell or something like that. Um, I mean, I, I kind of do feel like that though. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little bit depressed, obviously, but I like to always try to still find something that I can do in this period that's going to help me uh, uh, towards my goal. All right, so let's talk about first what's going on. Basically, for the last five weeks, I've felt kind of sick. I, I don't know what it is. It's not like a crazy, it's not like a flu or anything like really strong, but just a mild sensation of being sick. Um, first, I thought it was kind of like maybe it had to do with training, like maybe I was slightly overtrained or something like that. But that doesn't make sense now because I've reduced my training and over a fair bit of time now, it's still really the same, just this low grade sickness feeling. And whenever I do train, heading out for a run or, or even an easy bike ride, I feel like absolute crap afterwards, usually. Um, feel really sick and just like, oh. I've been to the doctor, they couldn't find an infection, so there's, I don't know if it's a virus or anything like that, probably not. Really, I, I have no idea what it is, my body, sometimes it's just strange. Um, it's not like a fatigue or anything, I don't think it's a deficiency situation, because it's just not. It's not, it's not like I'm overall fatigued, it's more like a particular feeling of being sick. Um, anyway, in addition to that, I have toothache <laughs> on my two wisdom teeth, the back two teeth there. They have like some huge cavities because they're really like crammed in the back there and I can't really access it properly with my toothbrush. So some cavities have developed and so they're hurting a bit, especially after training and I think that, you know, Maybe that's why I'm feeling kind of sick. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's the, the, the reason for it all. It could be. I hope so, because next Monday, in a week's time, I'm going to do... I'm going to yank them out. I'm going to do a tooth extraction. I'm going to get both of them extracted. That's pretty scary. I don't, I don't like to pull teeth. But uh, anyway, that's what you have to do sometimes. And I hope I'm going to be well after that. So anyway, that means I've had a reduced training load now for a while and it sucks and I do get depressed like, oh my god, all my goals for the next few months anyway, they go out the window and it sucks. But I try to look on the bright side still. There's always something you can work on, you know what I mean? Like even if you are, I don't know, if, if you're completely inca inca incapacitated, uh, you can still work on reading about training physiology, right? Like spend some extra time doing that or maybe just make sure work on the computer or whatever. But in my particular case right now, I can't really go for a run. I can't really train. I can't get my heart rate up too much because A, I get really wasted afterwards, feeling totally sick. And secondly, and more importantly almost, I feel really, I get a real toothache after a training session. I can't really, I just can't take it. It's, it's just too much. So I have to stay relaxed. I have to just not train for, for uh, a few weeks because on Monday I'm going to do the extraction and after the extraction there's going to be a few days of recovery from that too where I can't train. So about, let's just call it two weeks, two weeks of zero training. Oh my god, <laughs> that is not nice in terms of my goal process and I was looking forward to building up to this half marathon in June. I'll still probably do the half marathon, I'll do a shorter build up, but then I'll focus more on a half marathon uh, in September as my main race of the season uh, and really do a proper build up to that. But you know what I thought? I thought, okay, what can I do during these two weeks that will enable me to have my focus and to work towards my running goals, even though I can't get my heart rate up, even though I can't really train? Guess what? 
I'm gonna spend an hour a day working on my feet. That's right. My feet need strengthening and I am mobility. Uh, I have some foot issues. I mean, who doesn't? Um, there's always something going on in my feet. My biomechanics uh, are not optimal, certainly. I could probably use uh, the help of a physiotherapist. Uh, and I would love to do that at one point in the future. But as of right now, I thought, okay, you know, why don't I work on strengthening my ankle? Uh, strengthening my, you know, strengthening my ankle, strengthening my foot arch. You know, there's, there's these arches uh, in your feet. There's the, the arch here, I think it's called the lateral arch, and the medial longitudinal arch from there to there. And then there's the transverse arch from there to there. So there's like three points of contact with your feet and then there's an arch in between. And for a lot of people, myself included, I'm not very strong in these muscles under here. So my arch collapses a little bit. I'm pronating a little bit. I'm getting a knee valgus situation where my knee is collapsing inward a little bit when I'm running. My right foot is worse than my left foot. I have some imbalances. My toe on my, my little toe on my right foot sticks up. There's some differences there and there's some issues. And so I thought, why not work on that? So that's what I've just done. I was just at the gym now and I did more than an hour of just little things, you know, little exercises. And maybe I'll make a video uh, of showing some of those exercises for you one of these days. But basically I'm just working on, you know, strengthening that arch, moving those ankles with some bands, some therabands, you know, pulling my ankle, ankle eversion, I think it's called, and inversion, and, and all that little stuff. Just and I went to the gym because I just wanted the change of environment. Just sit there and look at all the girls and the guys, and, you know, all the people, <laughs> just looking at people. And yeah, it was, it was great, it was great. And that is a super thing for me right now because it means I'm doing something productive in terms of my running performance. And you know what? I'm probably gonna be better off with this situation because this means that I'm gonna learn these exercises I'm going to get a little bit of foot strength gains over these two weeks, of course, but more importantly, uh, I'll, I've incorporated into my schedule somewhat these exercises and I can continue to do so after I get back to running a couple of times a week, two, three times a week. I'm going to spend about half an hour, 45 minutes doing some of those exercises to have a continual foot prehab routine that I do in order to be injury resistant and to have good form and work on that uh, those foot biomechanics and mobility in my in my ankle and all those important things in order to have proper uh, mechanics when you're running to optimize running economy uh, and, and of course injury prevention so anyway that's all I encourage you guys out there that you know if you're in a similar situation and if you're training hard, you're gonna get in a similar situation at one point or another. Most people do. Some people get away without any injuries ever and they never get sick. I guess they really have just great genetics. Um, but uh, most of us will encounter some you know, setbacks now and then. And that's okay. I've had my fair share of setbacks, maybe a little bit more than the average person. Who knows why, but that's the way it is. And rather than being super depressed, I am kind of super depressed now and then uh, because of this, but rather than being that all the time anyway, I'm going to figure out something that I can work on that's going to be beneficial and that's what I've done. So I encourage you to do the same. Look on the bright side, seriously, pick yourself up from um, wherever, from the ground and uh, look forward, trying to make the best of a s shitty situation. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had a similar situation like this and how you dealt with it and you know what you did instead when you couldn't do your main activity. Anyway, um, I hope I'll get well soon. I hope it is my teeth that's causing this uh, sort of sickness thing. Uh, so wish me luck. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the teeth next Monday and I, I, I think so anyway and I, I hope that it's gonna get better after that. So I'll be back to running in a couple of weeks, I guess. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of the Lone Trail community. Leave your comment. Please subscribe. And you know, maybe share it with your friends or something like that. Post this video on your Facebook profile and tell, tell all your friends about it or something like that to help spread the word about this channel, about running, about, uh, and, it's, uh, and about this particular situation, which I think is a very important sort of uh, video, this video, because, you know, it's not easy always <laughs> to get injured, to, to get sick and to see, to have to change your goals, to have to modify your goals. But that's just life, that's just reality, so we gotta deal with it. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.